So good morning everyone. I hope everyone is having a blessed day and uh, we've been having some sunshine here and um, a few good days although we're not out of the woods yet because it is uh, Michigan that I live in and um, it's gonna probably snow again I'm sure. <laughs> It's just the nature of the way things go around here. Um, but it's nice to have some few nice days, enjoying those for sure. Um, also, if you guys know Patriot Homestead, Darlene, um, today is her birthday. So go on over to her channel and wish her a happy birthday. Um, and happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> um, I'd just like to do a quick reading and then I'm going to share um, just a few clips of some videos that um, I've taken recently. Uh, the time of year isn't the prettiest because uh, winter's over so the white pretty snow is uh, gone for the most part. Um, although we did get a snow not too long ago so some of the video might have a little bit of snow in it. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, I just want to share a little bit, and um, of course I want to share a, a little bit of reading out of the Bible here, Luke chapter 12, um, where uh, Jesus is talking about not being fearful. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment, so food and clothes. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. They don't go out and plant a garden, uh, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? So, uh, obviously we worry a lot about our physical needs and uh, the Lord right here is just telling us not to worry so much about those things um, and I know he wants us to focus on our spiritual um, our inner uh, person and um, because that is what is going to go on for eternity is our spiritual being that um, will carry on after we leave these bodies and that is the most important thing is the state of that and we know that through his finished work on the cross is um, the only way to make that spiritual person free from sin and bondage uh, the chains break off you know all the the bands, the chains, everything that keeps us tied down to this earth, those break off once you, once you come to realize uh, the magnitude of the love um, that he gave on the cross for you and rising from the dead, conquering all those things that kept you chained down. He conquered those for you. So all you have to do is just lay everything at the foot of the cross. Um, I'd also like to share real quick, um, still in chapter 12 and uh, verse 35 and 36. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. So if you feel the Lord tugging at your heart, if he's knocking at the door of your heart, open it up and let him in because he wants to abide with you. He wants to give you his peace and his love and guide you and correct you. So God bless each and every one. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, don't forget to go say happy birthday to Patriot Homestead, uh, Darlene. Oh, I found a dead tree. So, let's see here. Whoa.
really not good. Hey, one out of three. It's turning into ice <laughs> down here. It's a little sketchy. Whoa. All right, let's try this again. It's kind of hard to do it holding the camera and uh, trying to throw. There's one. Whoop, sorry. Two. I'll just be happy if I get all three. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Got all three.